the press release is full of spurious allegations and untruths. Look, the government has already given Spark notice of termination of contract and we're giving them notice of the fact that we are making a claim against them for £15 million. In fact, in excess of £15 million, an amount carefully worked out based on what the criteria set out in the contract provides for, for every minute that the Spark plant was not in operation. Uh, and uh, this is regarding all the power cuts that there have been in the last uh, year or so? Well, those power cuts which related to that plant which we call the Spark plant, and that is the way that the claims are calculated, in careful calculation based on this contractual clause that sets out how much Gibraltar is able to claim in damages, Gibelec is able to claim in damages against Spark for any period in which that plant was not supplying electricity into the Gibelec grid. A spark is in charge of the temporary generators currently providing Gibraltar's electricity supply. Is there any chance that Gibraltar could find itself with the plug pulled out two days before a general election? Spark is not in charge of that plant. The plant that we have now is being run by Energis. Spark have been removed from the equation. We don't allow them to be at the plant. We're talking directly to Energist about the operation of that plant. There is absolutely no question of the security and the integrity of the supply being compromised by Spark or anybody else. The power plant, even the temporary power plant, the three power plants that we're now operating in Gibraltar, as far as the government is concerned, critical national infrastructure. And the government will act to ensure that nobody can interfere with the operation of those plants, whether before a general election or at any other time. Now, if the allegations that you make about Spark are true, then was it not this government that initially contracted them in the first place and should you not perhaps have done a little bit of research into who you were bringing into Gibraltar? Spark had a very good relationship with the government. They brought us the opportunity of this plant which was necessary for us at the time of the Waterport power station explosion in Easter 2013. Quicker than anybody could bring this plant to Gibraltar. It was essential for us to have that plant in Gibraltar in order to have the generating capacity that we needed. Subsequently, they made proposals for a power plant, for gas storage, even for gas bunkering, all the things that they now say are so dangerous. Well, you know, what we did was ensure that we acted quickly to have the amount of generating capacity that Gibraltar needed. We were right to do so, and it's been possible for Spark to be removed from that equation when necessary because the plant comes direct from a company called Energist, which brings us Caterpillar uh, engines in container form. The director of Spark, Vladimir Kush, is alleging that you have bullied him and threatened him with imprisonment. Is this true? It's incredible how it's now in fashion to accuse me of bullying. Uh, it seems that they've all got together on the GSD side to, to do that. Uh, look, what happened with Mr. Kush was that I told him and Mr. Carreras in no uncertain terms in the presence of a number of senior government officials, including the, uh, the senior man, the chief executive at the Gibraltar Electricity Authority and the attorney general, that there was going to be an investigation by the Royal Gibraltar Police because the government was making a complaint about what had happened and if there was any evidence that they had acted improperly then surely there would be charges and surely that might result in prison sentences. Look, I don't think people can forget just how difficult those days were for Gibraltar generally. Forget the government. We had a plant that was supposed to be operating as perfectly as it had the previous uh, months and suddenly it was failing all the time. And it was failing at a time when things were happening linked to politics. Ironically, exactly in the same way as this press release that has now been issued a few days before the general election. It's important that the generation of electricity and the security of supply not be linked in any way to any political party or to any political event. And the government would not accept that. And that's why there is, in fact, on foot a criminal investigation to what was happening at the time. Of course, the government is not involved in that. That is a matter entirely for the Royal Gibraltar Police.